Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. I'm doing this special video clip today because of the news broke out that credit reporting agency Equifax had a huge data breach. Equifax just mentioned today that a data breach affected 143 million customers. The number 143 million is not a joke. This is almost half of the population and lots of Canadians were affected too. The reason this is relevant to me because uh, if you have been watching my channel, you know that uh, I did a post uh, on one of my credit cards that was hacked uh, last week. However, two of my other credit cards were hacked as well, which I didn't post because I just wanted to do only one on the same topic. And today, this news came out that there was a massive data breach. Equifax mentioned that data breach occurred until the end of July, which coincides with my credit card hacks uh, because uh, the three of my credit cards, they were hacked almost at the same time, which would be mid-August to early August or around that time. Now, what puzzled me is that the three credit cards that got hacked, they're not related anyway because I do not uh, use those cards often and I never took out these three cards together so this is just not possible for someone to obtain the information while I was out with these three credit cards and one of them one of the credit cards I never made any purchase on that for the last uh, three four months and the two other credit cards I took them out only a couple of times and the same thing happened for all these three cars. Charges were made from all over the globe and these charges were sometimes from Malaysia, from Europe, from USA, from Canada and what interesting is that one credit card had nine fraudulent transactions that went through. The credit card uh, fraud detection system was unable to stop it and another credit card had only one fraudulent transaction however the credit card was able to stop the charges right after that one transaction and there's another credit card which uh, had about 20 transactions uh, attempted from various parts of the world however the interesting thing is this credit cards fraud detection system is very excellent as a result none of the uh, fraudulent charges went through so this single credit card has approximately 20 charges from across the globe and none of them made it through. So only one card had all fraudulent transactions uh, posted, another card had only one transaction posted and the third credit card which got hacked had 20 transactions but none of them posted or went through. Now I'd like to give you a tip, uh, what you can do, you should call your credit card companies immediately even if you do not see any charges because if uh, thieves or scammers were trying to or were attempting to charge your credit cards and the credit cards fraud detection system stopped them then they will not show up as a transaction when you go or check online or check your bank account or credit card account on the app only the credit card company's customer service they're able to see those charges so call your credit card companies right away and ask them if there are any attempts to do fraudulent transactions. If they say yes, then you should stop that card immediately and ask them to issue a new card. And if you check your cards and see fraudulent transactions, which you can see, that means that the transactions were already posted or it was successful and you should call those cards and stop the credit card and ask them for a refund as well. Now for me there's no way to know that these three credit cards that got scammed they're related to Equifax data breach. However I'm certain or I have a good reason to believe that 
these are due to the Equifax data breach because there is no connection between these three credit cards and one of the credit cards I never made any purchase online or any transaction in the last 3-4 months and two other credit cards they are not even related and I only took them out a couple of times so the only connection I can see that the scammers or thieves had the information somewhere such a credit reporting agency and this is very relevant that the news just came out that they lost lots of their customers information. Credit reporting agencies such as Equifax give you certain information or they'll not tell you exactly how many people were affected or who are those people or what type of information were leaked, how many credit cards were affected. So I don't trust them with the information they're providing. The numbers they're giving the real situation could be worse than that and although I cannot prove that my credit cards scamming are related to the Equifax they might decline it however I wouldn't trust any credit agency or Equifax who cannot keep their trust with my valuable information and at the first time they let it happen to leak the information to the schemers or the hackers so if they cannot keep their trust by protecting our information how can you trust them with anything they're saying or any information they're giving out so you have to look after yourself check all your credit cards and accounts and if you find anything notify your banks or credit card companies immediately and for those credit cards even if you do not see anything just call them to be on the safe side and ask them that if there were any attempted transactions made if there were then stop them immediately and ask them to reissue you new credit cards. Always be vigilant and safeguard your information and do not trust anyone including the credit card agency or credit reporting agency. You have to protect your own information and thank you for watching. If you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing videos on travel, financial and more and I do provide information or valuable information which affects all of us so please consider subscribing and i'll see you shortly thank you